Meanwhile, longtime Alabama U.S. Senator Richard Shelby's announcement last year that he would not seek another term set off a scramble to replace him, including a Republican primary that saw nearly $30 million in spending. But now the race to succeed him is down to two. Senator Shelby's preferred choice, his former top aide, Katie Britt. She won the Republican primary runoff Tuesday, defeating Huntsville area Congressman Mo Brooks. And Britt is now set to face Democrat Will Boyd in the general election in November. News 19 Chief Investigative Reporter Brian Lawson joining us now in the studio. And Brian, Katie Britt really hasn't ever held political office, but that didn't seem to, buy, uh, to bother voters yesterday. No, it really didn't. The last News 19 poll, in cooperation with The Hill and Emerson College, taken eight days before Tuesday's vote, found Britt at 50% and Brooks at 33%, with a 17% block of undecided voters. But Tuesday, Britt did much better than that, winning with 63% of the vote. The candidates both spoke to supporters last night, and the difference in their messages was pretty stark. We are sending to Washington, D.C. the exact opposite of what we need in the United States Senate. But the voters have spoken. They might not have spoken wisely. They may have been, dis they may have been seduced by brazenly false advertising, but nonetheless, they have spoken, and I respect their will. Now, another loser could be myself and our campaign. I reject that. By golly, we did what we could do for our country against virtually overwhelming odds, overwhelming financial odds more than anything else. This is for you. What I want you to know, all the incredible people that we have met across this state, you have shared with us your hopes, your dreams, your fears, your concerns, your challenges, and your opportunities. Too often we have politicians that come down and lecture us instead of listen. And what I want you to know is I hear you. Mm -hmm. Now looking at the primary versus the runoff, Brooks won five counties May 24th, but just one Tuesday, Shelby County gave him the edge. Britt won Brooks' home county of Madison 51 to 48 percent. There was a 23 percent voter turnout for the primary. It was down to 12.7 percent for the runoff. That's a difference of about 245,000 fewer voters. Now, figures show Britt had at least $8.5 million spent by outside groups supporting her during this election, while Brooks had at least $3 million in support from outside groups. Britt's campaign reported spending $6 million through early June. Brooks spent $3.4 million. Christine, 